I hope you are all uh, emotionally good. Uh, first of all, I want to ask one question. When you face an emotional problem or a psychological issue such as trauma, loss, or uh, anxiety, stress, anything, how do you deal with it? Probably the majority of us are afraid or ashamed to show their emotions or to speak about it or even identify it. Some people, they don't know they are anger angry or uh, they, they feel uh, ashamed or they, uh, they have low self-esteem or something like this because they don't know how to identify this emotion to seek help or to ask or to improve it. So let's go back to school days. We all studied uh, topics about uh, physical body, plants, geography, all these things, but we mo most of them we forgot them and the other, they, we couldn't use them in our daily life. And unfortunately, we graduate from school not prepared for the real life. We don't know how we face that, uh, uh, the other world out of our school. And the, the social pressure demanding us to, to determine our career, marriage and raising a children without any knowledge about life skills or uh, mental health topics such as uh, empathy self-awareness brain uh, body connections or uh, communication skills solving problems which is very important in our life about one billion people they have mental health disorder in the world and around Three million people, they, they died every, every year because of substance abuse. And nearly uh, 40 seconds, one person died uh, because of suicide. In my opinion, I think that the main reason why people, they don't talk or even open up to talk about uh, uh, things uh, in mental health to, uh, uh, in, men in mental health topics is fear. Actually, we have that fear inside of us as, a, as a human beings. We tend to reject or uh, refuse all the uncertain things or unknown things, and we get along with the familiar topics or the things that we already know it, so we don't have to look or figure out or face the truth. So there is a lot of misconception about mental health topics in our society, uh, especially in uh, the Asia region, such as only mental health for, for crazy people. Any, anyone study psychology or uh, any uh, related things to mental health? They are not uh, good, they are uh, fraud or nerd people. Uh, they, they might be crazy in some, somehow. And only mental health for the people who are weak or they have illness or they are not uh, uh, normal people, which is wrong. And also, other thing that if you have one member in your family has a mental illness, for example, they, uh, people, they think that you will get it. Or it's like uh, if you have someone in your, uh, in your family has a mental health, so maybe you can get it. Uh, it's like uh, uh, things that genetic. But it's also, it's not the main reason for getting a mental health disorder. What I want to say here, I want to spot the light about the mental health, which means that it's a state of well-being within function, uh, function uh, within, within cognitive and behavioral and emotional functioning, which means it's like uh, the physical health. When you, when you are having uh, 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 an illness, for example, physical illness like cancer, or you have a break your, 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 your hands or anything like this, you, you go to the doctor because you saw the, the the things, or you saw the, the, the heart, so you go. But what's happening with the mental disorders that it's not seen, but it doesn't mean that it's not exist. 
People are suffering and they don't get say, uh, the, the, the proper help and it's developing to other conditions, to physical uh, uh, or chronic uh, disease and the other uh, problem with their relationship. And this is the main reason why uh, the things is increasing. And here my, opinion, uh, my experience about mental health awareness. I'll mention two of them. The first one, after the war in 2015 in Yemen, uh, after the fleeing of our houses, we came back. We came back to our city and imagine you came to your home and you find the whole city like a ghost place. There is no such uh, a basic or essential facilities, no electricity, no water, nothing. Every, every, everything is damaged, the destruction or, and the, the death remains and militia and every, everything was devastating. It was the most traumatic even in my life. I have been depressed for a long time and I've been locking myself in a room uh, not socialize with anyone, feeling sad and guilty and overwhelmed. So why this is happening with us? What we, what we did wrong about this? It's not our fault. I lost hope, I lost joy in, in my, my whole life. I didn't go to school. I was passionate a passionate student in psychology. I didn't go there for, for like so many days. But then I figured out something that I was aware of my family history of mental illness. And this is, was uh, very important because I'm psychology students. So I know humble information or knowledge about these, uh, these things or these topics. So I was taking that step of helping myself not to take that uh, risky uh, condition and develop a mental illness because I, I didn't, I didn't uh, help myself. So I decided to take, a, uh, to take a, a step of doing the work with myself and get help and uh, uh, seeking support and changing my routines and start to do the work for a long time to help myself because I have that, uh, idea of you can't help yourself even if you get uh, 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 thousands of therapists, uh, thousands of support. If you didn't, if you didn't decide from, your, from inside yourself that you will help yourself and you will change, nothing will change you. Even if you go to the most amazing place to help you. If you don't have that intention, you will not get help. So I started to do the work, I stand up and I started to work and uh, I told myself that this condition, it's not going to be fixed in 10 years maybe. So what I, should I do? I started to work and study at the same time, collecting money. I said to myself, if I didn't go the scholarship, I will go by my own. And I took that uh, responsibility for myself because I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to be uh, just stuck in that position because no one helped me or I didn't get the chance and blah, blah, blah. So I, after, after graduating, actually, I started to uh, train in a mental health hospital. I have seen thousands of people. The situation was miserable. Uh, people from different background, from rural area, from urban, uh, different, uh, different, uh, uh, different education or different culture or society in the same uh, of, uh, in Yemen. And they, they have all one common thing, which is lack of information about mental health awareness or mental health topics. So they couldn't help themselves because they don't have the, the ABC or the basic things, tools that they can help themselves immediately. So they keep quiet for so long time, like they stay one year suffering or two years suffering without any thing, uh, without any, uh, getting any help or talk with their family members or things because they, they are not aware of what they are, uh, uh, have been through. So they develop their condition until it becomes severe condition, and until it becomes very complex. 
And here what I want to say that after all this, they, they, they might, the majority, let's say the majority of us, they might be victim of the magician or the superstition things or the fraud people, which they, 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 they pretend they will help them, but it's not helping. So how can we help? The question here, how can we help? If we are in a country that it's, the situation is very uh, rude, or uh, let's say it's not helping, and uh, our, uh, our, for example, uh, health system is not helping, and there is a lack of uh, professionals, how can we help at least ourselves? My idea is that we should start from ourselves to educate and get the education the proper education and the proper knowledge to invest in our, uh, in, in our mental health. We take care of ourselves, then we can take care of the people. And we should also teach children in schools. It should be a curriculum actually about mental health uh, uh, topics, such what, what, which I already mentioned them, because if we teach the children how they, they they deal with themselves, they will, uh, we will prevent so many things. We can uh, break the cycles of the issues that it's uh, continue, continuously uh, exaggerating and we can make a difference in our community. So this is what, uh, what I think about it, that it's a, it's a cooperative, process. We can't say that one side he will just fix the problem or do the work. We should all cooperate in this, starting from ourselves to speak up, to tell and to help people about this, to break that taboo conversation so we can make a, a good influence and difference. And also, we, mention, uh, we have to remember that mental health is a part of our health. This is the main thing. Every day when you wake up, remind yourself that when you just take care of yourself, also you have to take care of your, ment uh, of your psychological state or emotional state. Always do the work because it, mental health, it's not fixed. It's not me, it doesn't mean that I, I am mentally health now, healthy now, so I am okay for the rest of, li of the life. No, it's not like this. It's like spectrum. You have all the time to do the balance between all these things. So at least you can't take any risk to get any disorders or any problems, especially with this rapid challenges we are facing in the world. We should take care of this to help our community. And thank you so much.